the skill of one meter safe distance. is at night, how filled with mystery. From the safety of your train, you will have an experience like no other. Imagine a moonlit night in the windswept foothills of the Himalayas. You would see animals that have adapted to live in this rocky, hilly terrain, like the Himalayan tar on the left. The sure-footed tar has special hooves for gripping smooth, slippery rocks. Compare its thick, curved horns with the wavy horns on the animal to the right of the track. This is the Bara, or Himalayan blue sheep. The male has a blue-gray coat that provides camouflage on the bare rocky hills. Next on the right, we'll pass the king of all mountain goats, the Makor. Adult male Makors have gorgeous spiral-shaped horns. Sadly, that beauty comes with a price. Makors are endangered because poachers kill so many for the ornamental value of their horns and for meat. Once again, the males have impressive curved horns. They may be beautiful, but the demand for animal parts like these pushes many species towards extinction. Remember, you buy, they die. From the Rocky Hills, we've gone to the marshlands. Here, you'll see a flock of orange-pink greater flamingos, the tallest flamingo species. They can grow to a height of five feet, or one and a half meters. Have you wondered why flamingos balance on one leg? It's because they spend hours in the water, and lifting one leg helps to conserve body heat. <laughs> you might not see the Asian small clawed otters on the left, but you will definitely smell them. They're related to skunks and other animals that give off strong scents to mark their territory. Otters are agile swimmers with webbed toes and streamlined bodies. You'll often find them hunting fish and small shellfish, or just splashing around and having fun. <laughs> also known as swamp deer, they sport a plain brown coat. In Hindi, Bala means 12, and Singha means 14. 
Vara Singha advanced to the multiple points of the male's entrance. These formidable weapons are used to fend off competing males during the mating season and are shed once a year. You might also notice some spotted deer. They are the excess deer, or chitter. When alarmed, they produce a loud barking call. that look like dogs with striped fur. They're striped hyenas, and they're more closely related to cats than dogs. Striped hyenas are also the only hyena that's native to Asia. Their hind legs are shorter than their front legs, so they walk oddly, but they can run for long distances. The crest of hair down their backs stands up when they feel threatened, making them look bigger and more ferocious. They're also not above playing dead to escape from danger. Hyenas come out at night to forage for animal carrion. Some people despise scavengers, but hyenas are intelligent, sociable animals that play a vital role in their ecosystem by keeping their environment clean. Only a few people on Earth have seen an Asian lion as close as we hope you will tonight. They are the rarest of the rare. In the next clearing, you might see a small pride of Asian lions feeding. Female lions in the wild do the hunting. Then they wait impatiently for leftovers while the male eats his fill. If the pride has already eaten, they may be lounging or sleeping. Lions sleep up to 20 hours a day. Asian lions used to live all over India and the Middle East, but their natural habitat is disappearing. The few that remain in the wild today can be found in the wildlife preserve in the Gir Forest of India. At the most, there are only about 300 wild Asian lions left in the world. A few hundred more live in protected environments around the world, like this one. Night Safari is proud of its success in breeding Asian lions, a program that contributes to conserving this highly endangered species. Sloth bears live in the habitat on the right. They have a dark coat, so you might hear a sloth bear before you see it. They're noisy eaters that suck ants and termites out of insect mounds. Follow the sound and look for a bear with a shaggy black coat and a white U-shape on its chest. This is another animal native to the Indian subcontinent, but it's not related to sloths. Europeans called it a sloth bear because it has long, curved claws and can hang upside down from branches like a tree sloth. Thank you. 
Indian rhinoceros can weigh 5,500 pounds or 2,500 kilograms, more than an average automobile. Some people use powdered rhino horn as a traditional medicine to treat fever and headaches. The international trade in rhinoceros horns is illegal, but this hasn't stopped poachers. Today, fewer than 2,000 Indian rhinos survive in the wild. You'll probably see a group of hyenas known as a clan on a plateau to the right just ahead. These are spotted hyenas, the largest species of hyena. People call them laughing hyenas because when they're agitated, their calls sound like human laughter. Spotted hyenas scavenge for food, but they're also skilled hunters with superior night vision and hearing. They can run fast for long distances, so antelopes and other prey have to be in peak condition to escape. Hyenas on the hunt work together to isolate one slow runner from the herd, often one that's old and sick. They have highly acidic digestive fluids, which enable them to eat the whole animal, horns, bones, teeth, and all. Look to your left to spot our three deer species grazing for the shadows. The thigh, hog deer, and barking deer. Males spot antlers which are used to spar with other males for meals. After the season, the antlers fall off. Below us on the left, you'll see African Cape buffaloes grazing in the cool night air. These massive animals have intense loyalty to the herd. Working together, they can kill a lion. When it's time to find more grass to eat, each buffalo faces in the direction it wants to go. Whichever way the majority chooses, the rest of the herd will follow. Hippopotamuses on the left may look funny and cute from a distance, but they're extremely dangerous. With teeth, they can bite a boat in half. Hippos spend hours underwater to keep their skin moist. Their eyes, ears, and nostrils are on top of their heads, so they can see, hear, and breathe with most of their bodies submerged. <laughs> No night safari tour is complete without a walk through the forest on the well-marked, easy-to-follow trails. At the end of your tram ride, you'll find the wallaby and fishing cat trails and several others that lead to even more intimate views of magnificent animals like the pangolin and fishing cat and more. Thank you. 
In a few moments, we'll pass a clearing on the right. There you may see a pair of rare white lions from South Africa. They're named Sifo and Mandisa. The Swahili words for gift and sweet. White lions aren't pure white, but rather light yellow. They're not albinos, but leucistic, a genetic condition that reduces the pigmentation of their skin and fur. The lion is the national animal of Singapore. You'll see images of lions everywhere, including a merlion with a lion's head and the body of a fish. A legend tells of Prince Sun Nila Utama, who named this city Singapura, or Lion City, because he saw a lion when he first landed on the island. There's just one problem with that story. Lions aren't native to Singapore. True. Maybe the prince saw a strange unknown animal and assumed it was a lion. What he really saw remains a tantalizing mystery. It amazes me how night safari has changed over the years and how it stayed the same. Seeing animals in a natural rainforest is as exciting an adventure as ever. But today, the journey you're on is part of a larger mission. We cannot protect animals like the ones you're seeing unless we understand that the threats to wildlife also threaten humans. I've seen night safari become an international force for conservation. They conduct research and partner with universities, government bodies, conservation groups, and zoos worldwide to share their data. They're part of coordinated worldwide efforts to breed endangered species. Night safari raises the public's awareness of issues like habitat loss, environmental pollution, and poaching. This includes their campaign to stop the illegal trade of protected species for traditional medicines and meat. Night Safari upgrades all of their facilities continually to make them more environmentally friendly. Everything from energy efficient lighting to using the elephant's dung as a fertilizer for growing food. Night Safari began with a vision of opening a window to nature by allowing people the rare opportunity to enter the world of nocturnal animals in a tropical rainforest. This experience is a reminder that all of us, animals and humans, live in the same world, the world of nature. When we understand that, we will have a better appreciation of the urgent need to save wildlife. The Malayan tapir lives in a free-range environment, so you might see one on either side of the road. This Southeast Asian native looks like a pig with an elephant's trunk, but it's a closer relative of rhinos and horses. The tapir's flexible trunk helps it to sniff out shoots and leaves and guides them into its mouth. Tapirs are solitary creatures that communicate by whistling. <laughs> Their black bodies have a white saddle around the midsection. These markings don't just look fashionable. They act as camouflage in the shadows of the rainforest. <laughs> look on the right for a pack of red dogs. They're also called Asian wild dogs, and sometimes whistling hunters, because they communicate using whistling sounds when they can't see each other. A dole pack can include up to 20 individuals in a tight-knit group with a strong hierarchy. The entire pack works cooperatively to hunt deer and wild boar.
Next to the doles lives a sounder or herd of bearded pigs. The bearded pig gets its name from the whiskers growing on the sides of its face and across the bridge of its nose. Both sexes have this beard, including piglets. These are the slimmest wild pigs, with long tapered noses that they use to root for shots and worms. Here to the delicious effect of the In the distance, you may see Asian elephants, an animal revered throughout Asia. Nevertheless, elephants are struggling to survive in the wild. Female elephants and their young are larger in herd, led by the largest, oldest female, called the matriarch. The herd in Night Safari includes Sri Nandong, who gave birth to Neha, a baby female, in May 2016. The first elephant born in Singapore in several years. When young male elephants reach puberty, the herd drives them away to live the rest of their lives on their own. The solitary bull elephant on the right was born and raised here at the night safari. His name is Sanwira, a term that means warrior in the Malay language. Did you know that the elephant's trunk has more muscles than the human body? It's agile enough to pluck a blade of grass and strong enough to uproot a tree. Ahead on the right, you'll see Chawang, the mighty symbol of night safari. Chawang was rescued as an orphan near the Chawang River which inspired his name. His offspring include both Sanwir as well as his newest daughter Neha. <laughs> the sambar deer in this free-range habitat may be grazing on either side of the road. These large and peaceful deer can make a surprisingly loud noise when they sense danger. I've seen wild sambar deer in India, Sri Lanka, Nepal, and China. They once inhabited huge portions of Asia, but hunting and habitat destruction have reduced the population drastically. The Malayan tigers that once preyed on Sambadir began hunting cattle and other livestock. This brought the tigers into closer contact with humans, who naturally took action to protect themselves. This is one of the reasons the Malayan tiger has become critically endangered. This sad story demonstrates an important truth. Losing just one species has consequences that ripple through entire ecosystems.
Look to your left. Do you spot some familiar animals? Our second pack of red doors call this clearing home. Similar to dogs, they greet one another by wagging their tail. Red doors live in closely knit packs. They spend most of their time on playing, hunting, and caring for one another. As the sun sets, Singapore comes alive with a different host of inhabitants. Many nocturnal animals reside in Singapore's forested areas. They move stealthily in the night, sight undetected, but if you listen hard enough, the forest reveals a symphony of sound. A night jazz song. A frog's trill. Toki gecko's greeting and the soft rustling of the grass as a pendulum ambles through the forest floor. All set against the horns of crickets. We risk losing our natural symphony unless we stand behind wildlife conservation work. We donate a portion of the proceeds from our admission to conservation projects in Singapore and Southeast Asia. So your visit to Night Safari comes with conservation included. Thank you for protecting wildlife. One of the species which we are helping to conserve is the Asiatic black Look to the right of the track, and you might spot a jet black bear or two. Asiatic black bears are also called moon bears for the crescent-shaped patch of whitish fur on the chest. These elusive bears are poached for their gallbladders and other body parts in the illegal wildlife trade. We support rescue and rehab work of these bears in Laos. Throughout this journey, we saw babies, Asian elephants, even Indian animals. Tonight, as we entered the world of nature, I hope you've experienced the same sense of discovery I felt. All of us inhabit this world, but you must Sometimes I wonder how many more generations will be able to see animals like the ones we've seen tonight. To find out how you can assist wildlife conservation efforts, please visit the Night Safari website. Ladies and gentlemen,
gentlemen, our journey is at an end. Please wait until the tram comes to a complete stop, then exit the vehicle. Remember to take all your belongings with you. Good night, and thank you for visiting the night safari. Yeah, 
这几天来。
Oh, is it like a pool?
Tak kurde jsou vidět, to je vidět, to je vidět zádech, to je to, ne?
lunching or sleeping. Lions sleep up to 20 hours a day. Asian lions used to live all over India and the Middle East, but their natural habitat is disappearing. The few that remain in the wild today can be found in the wildlife preserve in the Gyu Forest of India. At the most, there are only about 300 wild Asian lions left in the world. A few hundred more live in protected environments around the world, like this one. Night safari is proud of its success in breeding Asian lions. A
This is uh, right from them. So what they do is they have a lot of this, right? Yeah. This is where they connect it to their body. Yeah. And what they do is they run backwards, direct heat to uh, the animal, predator. They will just poke into their skin and will just let it go. Mm. Let it go. Oh. Ah, so some of the animal, like for lions and tigers, they don't have to come to anything. Yeah. So uh, the climbing, they will have their skin reactivated. So everybody can feel like this is how it's very, very sharp.
It's their first night and uh, they fed early.